welcome back to my channel. Today I have my Project 10 Pan finale for you guys. So I'm just going to go through all the items I have left and show you my progress on the ones I didn't. So my first item was my Clinique Black Honey um, sample. So my first item was a deluxe sample of the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. I did lose that so I subbed in this Benefit Posy Balm. And I actually found it over the weekend, but it's gone missing again. But anyway, um, I dug this out completely. As you can see, I ended up leaving this by my computer and I had a lip brush right next to it and I would use that to apply it. And this is like my third one I think I've gone through. I really, really love this lip balm. And I would definitely consider purchasing it in the future, but so far I've gotten by with like little samples. Next up was the cream blush from this palette by the bone. It was the shade the Caramel and I just wanted to hit pan but as you can see I hit pan and well beyond that. So I'd say I probably used about half of it and so these two are pretty similar and then these two I still need to hit pan on and use up and this palette is going to be in my Pam That Palette project for 2016 so you'll be seeing more of this. The third item was my Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. It was a deluxe sample size and that was has been used up. It was in my last empties video, which I'll try to remember to link it down below. The fourth item was my Urban or er, Maybelline color tattoo in the shade Black Orchid, and I wanted to hit pan on that, which I did at my last update. I've already packed that away because I am leaving here in a couple days, so I forgot to dig it out, so I'm not going to show it to you again, but I did hit pan and I have used it a couple times since I hit pan as well, so it is a little bit bigger. The next item was supposed to be my CoverGirl foundation, but I never got to it because this foundation lasted forever. And this is the Laura Mercier Smooth Finish Flawless Fluid. It's in the shade Cashew. I really, really love this foundation. I got it for my birthday last year, and I really enjoyed using it. And even though I was a little frustrated at times that it never seemed to end, I was also pleased that it lasted so long because it is pretty expensive. So I think this probably, I started using it in July. I used it a handful of times before July, and then I used it start more consistently in July when I started my internship. Though so I didn't use it the two weeks I was working on the farm, and I don't know how much I used it um, during another rotation, so there was maybe a month where I wasn't using it every single day, but it still lasted me from July to December. I only used this up a couple weeks, or a week or two ago maybe, and it is the end of December now. Yeah, so I would definitely consider purchasing this again. I do have some other foundations I want to try out. I'll probably go to Sephora and just get some samples first, but this is definitely on my list for repurchasing. The next two items were combined as one, and they were OPI minis in the shades I Sing in Color and How Great Is Your Dane, and I finished those off a while ago, so I don't have them anymore. Next up, I have my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal, and this is my progress. I started up here, and now I'm down here. There's a little bit stuck up here, but um, there's always been some stuck up there. I can't really get it to all go down. kind of varies. Um, it was in my bag when I traveled, so it's kind of all shooken up right now. But, you know, I probably used maybe about half of it, um, but I want to continue using it. But I really love it, so I'm in no rush, so I'm not going to throw it into another project right now. Next, I have this Clinique eyeliner in the shade Intense Plum and I picked this because I thought I would really like it with the shade Pewter in the Lorac Pro but then I ended up like not touching Pewter very much and I also didn't like it with that because it was a little too blue of the color so as you can see I started down here and I went up to here so I used maybe about a third of it um, here's a swatch of it right there and since this one wasn't going very well, I'm not going to try to finish it up right now either, but maybe in the future if I find some other looks that I think it would go better with, I will pull this out again because I do want to finish it off at some point. Next day I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, and I didn't quite finish this, but I am very, very close. I accidentally threw away the card where I had measured my progress, but this is all I have left. So I'll definitely finish this off maybe in the next two-ish weeks. I don't remember how quite how long it, it takes me to get through um, that amount of product, but I definitely think this will be used up very, very soon. And then finally, I have my Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Gloss in the shade Magic. I used that up already as well. It was in my last empties video, so you can see that down below. So out of 10 items, I only have two, or no, sorry, three that aren't used up. And this one is really, really close. So overall, I think it was a fairly successful project, um, even though I did have to swap in a few things due to losing things or other things not ending. But all in all, I think it went pretty well, and I'm excited to start new 
and fresh with a new Project 10 pan. So you'll be seeing that introduction video very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.